Good evening and thanks for joining us. Finding an affordable ambulance service continues to be an issue for communities across the valley. In Camel, city officials think placing an emergency levy on the November ballot would help mitigate this issue. They hope it will be a stopgap until a long-term plan comes to fruition. Coy McRae has the details. City leaders in Camel are looking to tackle the ambulance problem with plans to place an emergency levy on the November ballot. We hate to go to the voters, but we don't have much of a choice. We're running as bare as we can in the city of Camel. An in-house ambulance service would cost the city up to $2 million, which Lavinda says isn't an option. However, this 3.6 mil continuous property tax levy would generate around $225,000 a year. That money would pay the way for an outside company. It's gonna roughly cost $10 if your house is valued at $100,000, $10 a month, or $5 if your house is valued at 50000 The city hasn't had an ambulance service since MedStar parted ways a few months back. Since then, the fire department, along with other available agencies, have been responding to calls. One of those agencies, EMT, who also services Youngstown, will be the provider if the levy passes. In the meantime, firefighters and Camel will receive EMT training. Lavinda says it's a stopgap until a long-term solution is found. And I have spoken to Anthony Trafficani with the commissioners, and uh, he's willing to sit at a table and talk about regionalizing an ambulance service for Mahoney County. With more local news, I'm Corey McRae.